customs union. No, you can't do that in the customs so union. So are, you, and that's, and that's are you in or are you out? And that's why it's a point for negotiation, Andrew, because we want to remain, retain the benefits of the customs union whilst also being able to negotiate trade deals as we see fit. And that well, will form part of the negotiations well, themselves. But we can't it, cut our nose off to spite our face and come out of the customs union without any transitional arrangements whatsoever right. and send businesses over the edge of a cliff. Well, but it seems that you do want to have your cake and eat it. You want to stay members of the single market, but not have the obligations that go with it. You want to stay in the customs union, but still be able to free, do free trade deals on your own, which uh, flies in the very face of the principle of the customs union. I mean, your positions are untenable. Well, that's the whole point of negotiations. Uh, well, to Andrew. be untenable. Uh, not untenable, to negotiate the position. Now, our end goal is to retain the benefits that we currently have as part of the customs union in the single market. Now, the machinery that we use to do that, whether it's through outside agreements or whether it's by negotiating some form of amended settlement as part of membership, that's, that's a moot point, quite frankly. But we need to make sure that we have the same benefits.